Hello, welcome to Clare Technologies. Uh, this is our second video of on-premise deployment series. In our previous video, we have seen uh, what is the uh, on-prem deployment and how to download the server and how to make the server up and running and uh, other details as we discussed. So if you missed that video, just uh, first go through that video and then we will uh, then you will get better understanding of this second video. Okay. So in this video, if uh, we are going to see uh, how to create a domain project and how to deploy it and how to undeploy it, we will see this step by step okay so if you don't want to miss this kind of uh, tutorials please subscribe like and share our channel if you are visiting it first time okay okay so let's get started so first thing is like uh, we have to create one domain project here by default when your uh, server is up and running you can see one default domain is uh, already uh, deployed okay so what is uh, what is the use of domain project in case of on-premise deployments, uh, if uh, you you will not be able to run more than one application if you don't have any domain project. That is the first thing. And the second one, if you want to share the resources, uh, it means like uh, if let's say if you are going to you are going to work on uh, seven to eight integrations, seven to eight APIs you have to uh, develop and deploy as part of this project. But all the eight applications need to use one uh, database connector, one HTTP connector, one SAP connector or one REST service like that. So, but uh, you cannot uh, um, create all the connectors one by one, I mean individually for those applications. Some kind of common connectors are there. For example, this HTTP listener. Okay, so HTTP listener uh, while configuring it, we know, right, we have to configure the port, path and uh, host and all. Right. So, if you deploy only one application with the port 8086 uh, or something, so if you do, if you want to deploy uh, another application with the same port, that is not possible in on-premise deployment until unless if you have this domain project. Okay. But in case of Cloud Hub, what will happen? Uh, in Cloud Hub, uh, we are uh, we are using by default 8081 is the port. Even while configuring this listener also, we need to select 8081 as a port uh, before deploying the Cloud Hub. That is the basic rule, right? So, in case of Cloud Hub, as it has their own uh, um, shared load balancer, so it will share the resources by default. So, any uh, any number of applications will deploy it with the same port 8081 in Cloud Hub. But in case of on-premise deployment, which we are going to use now, uh, you cannot deploy more than one application with the same port. We need to deploy all the uh, different application with the single port and uh, other connectors also if you would like to share among the different uh, uh, applications then you have to create the domain project. So let's see how to create the domain project first. So if this studio is a, a brand new studio like a, a new workspace you will find the option here itself create a new mobile domain project otherwise you can go to um, file new mule domain project okay now you will not see any more details here because this is a just domain project to create uh, common configurations common connectors we are going to use this okay so i am giving a name like mule domain cloud project okay let's get finish so it will create a normal xml file for you with uh, nothing code and there we can manage the modules and all we will see once this gets created my system is little slow mm -hmm. it is not responding It won't take much time like this. It will just create uh, just in seconds. It depends on your uh, system. So currently my system is a little slow. Mm. Yeah, just wait for one more minute. Yeah, now it's get created. So see if you can see uh, we have uh, one XML the different symbol it's just different to our normal mule applications right so you can identify with these symbols maybe okay so one xml file is getting created by default uh, with the same project name mule domain config 
okay so what we have to do in this domain project is right we need to first add the modules modules means what are the different connectors you are going to share with the different applications you have to mention those modules and you have to uh, add those modules here so let's add one http module as of now http listener module okay uh, so to add this uh, just click on manage modules click on plus icon uh, you can just uh, from exchange maybe mm, or else just a maven also would be enough okay let me just see okay featured modules are there now maybe this is also help so just click on http and click on okay now http connector is added here as a module okay just click on apply apply and close now you have added the module that will gets added to your uh, palm.xml file now what you have to do is like you can create one listener okay see http connector has been added as a dependency here so now what we need to do we need to create one listener so for all the other applications which we are going to deploy with this domain project those projects should refer this listener so this listener is common for all the applications that is the meaning okay so let's click on create let's create one listener uh, connector configuration http listener okay uh, let's give uh, any other port like 89 something you can give 81 also if the port is open in your system but just for the safe side i have given 8089 and this is our own server right you can give any port okay so now uh, host would be same 0.0.0, .0 and the port i have given 8089 i just clicked on okay so now once this uh, connector is uh, laser ca configuration is created uh, if we deploy any other application by pointing to this domain in our on-premise server uh, automatically all the applications which is going to use the listener that should refer to this particular listener global configuration and it should uh, have this port as 8089 so now you can deploy as many as applications with the same port okay so like this you can create you can add any modules which are common so you can just create it from exchange because as of now uh, we have not created cloud hub account um so that's why i didn't uh, check it from exchange if you have a cloud hub account you can just uh, uh, go and download the connectors from the exchange if you have the maven snippet you can use this option uh, featured modules are the normal uh, common modules so you can just select this by just to make your life simple only for these connectors it is available so that is why i have uh, used this option as of now now if you can see these are all the different connectors added here see you can add salesforce module api kit module database module everything you can add here and i mean the global configuration you can manage here and you can refer that to global configuration into in your applications while developing we will see we will see all this step by step so that uh, it will give you more details so don't get confused right now so right now just remember we have added one http ma connector module and we have created one global configuration for http listener with port 8089 okay now it is so far we have created one domain project with one listener now we have to deploy this domain project into our a mule soft server so before you deploy that application make sure uh, your application your mule server is up and running so just like we did in our previous video okay now to deploy this application what you need to do we need to first export this as a jar file so right click on the project click on export and uh, go to mule select this option and uh, this is the location where this jar file will be uh, created so select the correct location maybe for now i can just select the desktop mule domain glad project 1.2 this is the version okay so i just click on save and finish it will create the jar file for me in the desktop location you can give as uh, any location as per your preference once the jar file is uh, created then we have to deploy that up uh, that uh, mule domain project manually in this server the local server okay see now the jar file project exported okay just uh, click on okay now you need to uh, go to the location where you exported that so here mule domain cloud project jar is there now you need to just uh, copy this jar file and uh, you have to go to your server location 
if you remember we already discussed a few folders and the uses right so to deploy our domain application where we need to go to this domain folder so now if your application is uh, i'm sorry if your mulesoft server is already up and running you need to go to domains to deploy your domain application you need to just paste that jar file here it will automatically gets deployed so i just pasted the jar file not this folder i just pasted the jar file but it will be showing as a file folder here because if you can see your server is going to pick that uh, jar file and it is ex uh, extracted it and it will start the deployment okay uh -huh, see just let's expand sorry so once you place the jar file here what will happen in the background is uh, it will extra mule soft uh, i mean your mule standalone runtime uh, will extract that folder the jar file into a folder and it will create one a normal text file which is called you can see anchor at the end so this is the anchor text file it will create by default once you place the jar file here okay it will extract that uh, domain project into your folder and it will create a anchor if you can see the similar um, way uh, for the domain default domain we didn't do any default domain so it is coming by default with the mule runtime right so for that also one de folder is there with the default and one file is there with anchor at the appending at the end just like that for our domain project also it has created one folder and it has created one text file which is appending anchor now let's go to our uh, new uh, run i mean uh, where you have started your uh, new server so if you can observe uh, earlier we can see only this default deployed now if you can see started the domain new domain clarity project and the domain plugins only these two we have added http listener now so by default sockets will be added by the by default just ignore that we have added http listener so what are the plugins you have added that information also visible here we have added http plugin and what is your domain name new domain and clat snapshot new domain so th this is how you can deploy your domain applications into mule uh, server mule standalone server okay so what we have done we have just exported the application domain project into a jar jar file and then we just copy that jar file into the domains folder it will get automatically deployed if your server is up and running so now how to undeploy this domain application okay so in case of cloud hub we can see one option called uh, undeploy or delete or stop that application but in case of on premise deployments okay we don't have any uh, commands we don't have any other um, play, uh, any other buttons or something ui is not there for us like so we, we don't have any command also to undeploy the application so how you can undeploy even the normal application or domain application it's a just a very simple way so once your application is deployed it uh, one anchor file will get created for you right we have seen this so to undeploy any domain project or any other application what you have to do you need to just delete this anchor file then go to your server see i just deleted my anchor file disposing domain undeployed artifact so now the domain project is undeployed domain project is not there so you have to first just delete the anchor file see that folder is also gone the folder with the name of domain project is also gone so once you delete the uh, anchor file uh, background what will happen it will disposing the domain and it will undeploy the application so now let's redeploy the domain project again so what you have to do you need to first copy that uh, uh, jar file and you need to place that into a domain but before that let me yeah here you need to just paste the jar file see now it is placing the jar file first then it will create the folder extraction and it will create a anchor file if you can see started domain new domain clat new domain and domain plugin so start started the domain now the domain project is redeployed again so like this you can create a domain project with uh, common connectors common global configurations just like in our case we have created one http listener and uh, this is how you can deploy or undeploy your domain application 
the main project into mule standalone server which is nothing but on premise server okay i hope you understand this and uh, you get some idea about the main project and uh, deployment process so that's it from for this video in our next video we will see how to create a different mule applications how we can map this map this domain project to the applications and how can we deploy into mule runtime okay then going forward we will see all the other topics one by one so if you are not subscribing our channel till now please subscribe share and like clad technologies okay thank you that's it for this thank you happy learning